today we're going to be learning how to use a dichotomous key, which is just a tool that allows us to identify an unknown species of organism. It could be animals, it could be plants, it could be insects, but whatever it is, they'd have their own unique dichotomous key that would allow you to identify an organism you don't know. So for this one, we're looking at sharks and rays, and it'll let you practice uh, how we use these tools to identify an unknown animal. So you start with the organism. So this is the first one we're looking at, this number one here. And we pick out this animal and we use it along with the key to the right. So we always start with statement one, statement one A, I should say, which is the body is the shape of a kite. So if that's true, we would then go to statement 12. If that's not true, we would go to statement two. But looking at fish number one, its body shape is that of a kite. So we jump all the way down to statement 12. 12A says there is a small dorsal fin near the end of the tail. 12B says there is not a dorsal fin near the end of the tail. Well, here's the tail, and we do in fact have a dorsal fin there. And if you don't know what the fins of a shark are called, you will use this chart to help you out. So since it does have a dorsal fin, we know that this belongs to family Rajidae, and that's what you would write in the space. Oops. So you would then write Rajidae for shark number one. Let's look at shark number two as well. So once again, so here's shark two, start with statement 1a, the body is the shape of a kite. It is not, so we will go to statement two. There is no pelvic fin, and the nose looks like a saw. There is a pelvic fin. The nose does not look like a saw, so we go to statement three. There are six gills. Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five gills. Five gills means we go to statement four. There is only one dorsal fin. This one has one, two dorsal fins. Two dorsal fins from statement B means we go to statement 5. The mouth is at the front of the face, kind of like a human giving it a small nose. The mouth is on the underside of the head. Well, this one's mouth is on the underside. You can see this shark here has the mouth with the, on the front of the face. So we go to statement 6. The head goes out on the sides, and the eyes are on the extensions, or the head does not go out on the sides. Will B is true. Go to statement 7. The top half is the, of the caudal fin, which is the tail, is the same size and shape as the bottom half, or the top half is different size and shape. This one is definitely different size. So we go to statement eight. The dorsal fin is very long, almost half the length of the body, or the dorsal fin is regular length. That is a regular length dorsal fin. So we go to statement nine. The caudal fin is very long, almost as long as the body. And that is true for this shark. So 9A is our true statement. So it's family Olopidae. So again, then we would write the family and move on to the next shark. So it can be a little bit time consuming to use dichotomous keys. But when you don't know an organism, it really is the most efficient way to figuring out what that is. So your task is going to be to complete the rest of this shark dichotomous key. You have the first two answers. On my website, you have access to this uh, shark diagram as well. So between that, you should be able to figure out the family to all 14 different sharks and rays on this diagram. Hopefully this will help, and thanks for watching.